Hi there. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to track, you know, quotation marks with my fingers uh, in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, some people, you know, they've asked for a tutorial on this, but the thing is, it's not actually tracking. Uh, you can't do that in Premiere Pro, but what I do is literally, it's kind of the frame by frame thing, but not necessarily like that. It's position, scale height, width, you know, rotation and such to kind of make it look like that. Now, that goes for this same thing right here in this previous edit that I've done. That involves the width of it right here in order to make it look a little bit more 3D, as you can see there. It's not too noticeable, but it's like that. And uh, that involved uh, scaling it a little bit and just rotating it as it goes, if that makes sense, along with this right here that you're seeing. Um, let me go ahead and demonstrate a little bit of how to do this. And then from there, you'll be able to kind of see how it goes and do the same thing. So let me actually, I do not want to change the scale width or anything like that. Uh, I've already done the scale height and width, which is basically makes the transition kind of cool, you know, but that's not really what we're focusing on right here. Also, these really only work the best on really slow down clips or s quite steady clips because you don't want to have to go through frame by frame doing this tracking deal. So you see how it just kind of goes down with it like that. So what we're going to want to do is make it stick with the tree. Uh, that can simply be done by let's just start the position then we can come to the end now here's the deal sometimes it moves a little bit faster in the beginning in the beginning and it goes maybe slower at the end so you can't just skip to the end and put it where it should be uh, from the beginning or else it may be moving around which is what I mean by that is you may have to scoot up a little bit move it in place scoot up a little bit move it in place so it doesn't sit awkwardly in the same kind of area while the stuff is moving around it. If that makes any sense at all, which I doubt it does. Anyways, we'll come here, just create that next keyframe, right? And you can just start by trying dragging it up through here. Sorry, my problem, my computer's a bit laggy because of the recording. Um, oops, oops, didn't mean to render it. I'm used to Photoshop pressing enter to <laughs> do that. Anyways, anyways, so from there you can see that what we've done is kind of kept it with the tree. So I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail on this just because, you know, I'm basically done now. I just wanted to demonstrate to you how I do my text like this. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Make sure you try and keep it rotated with it if it needs to be. Um, this, the width, you know, and height is always a hefty tool because it can keep it looking a little bit more realistic. So anyways, guys, I hope that all helped, and I will see you next time. Later, everyone.